Hey guys and girls, uh, hey welcome guys back to the school. In this video, I'll in this video, I have telling you about the brief introduction. About so when I when I was studying, I have just said that I didn't really uh, what are different types of databases and how databases. how you use that. I have the biggest in this video. I'll be telling you how to use that, how to connect databases. So what is a database? And how to work on that? A database is a uh, collection of I data. Have known okay. that I was and if suppose if you want to store all the contacts and information and of your college, but I didn't uh, do that. Anyway, one I couldn't uh, do that somewhere. So okay. because of this, uh, then there you'll be using this of database. It's going to be SQL, it may be Oracle, or anything. I'm going to explain you everything about. Uh, so how you are going to store that particular information? If so when you say the contact, I'll be having many fields like name. Uh, here's see the email some websites like a this contact number, YouTube, like that, like this and all. So they all you'll be storing all this my information in the form of tables. Back end so tables databases. is the one. So because uh, my school database is an open source, of representing your right. information, also so loading still there are many open source uh, software in the DB. Uh, databases like so MySQL, what does a, a table SQL, have? A table, Fiber, any table Derby, contains rows and columns, right? SQL light. So I will show so you a live link how it it's will called be SQL. in the database. Right. Okay. Later on, see here. We all I have a here a database called as address, and uh, so in the have SQL two, two uh, rows here, SQL one and two. Uh, mainly okay, used first row and second row. I have few used called as ID, right. name, uh, value, all are connected with the, this. Use this. So this is how you will be storing your information. It is very useful. Suppose if I want to applications, very small applications. All the contact okay. information, so contacts of uh, not all, the, work with all the contact SQL. numbers of I'll particular be, name uh, called as Rajesh. I'll one of just the best type a query, query here, or I'll just run a query here. That okay. is a PHP MyAdmin. So this PHP MyAdmin is I'll just run a query to create a database. So suppose, suppose if I run a query like this, know. select star so from see address, at this PHP and my just click. Here you have databases. We we'll have SQL, SQL here, right? Export, import, so settings, here, showing zero out of one cells right. here. So when you go with like the database setting like this, I have many databases so in this my. This is how you'll be executing your query databases on your database. database. So okay. like this, you don't worry uh, about you this. You can create your own databases and all that. So next session, if you want to do that now. I can just as I was just discussing about databases. This is a great introduction. for you. And next is. This database which I am showing you is my so here MySQL, right? This in this so interface every you can just uh, if, write you, if you have a database query, it should understand uh, the long the language, some language, from language from right? Suppose if you are so and so from the table and all, the guy you will be writing here your the many queries, you will be running many queries and all. And if you just click go, for the means you can of just get all the information. You will be having. Thing. You must learn okay. some knowledge, some so language. Right. If you, you can also US, have uh, import uh, want export options. Talk with US if you want to export English. something from your database to your guy, computer, you can just do that. Tell you'll be having you import talk options, with and guy, you'll be you having just need settings. To like this, just the diff there are different import ways of why is import options used for a you particular state import something or particular from uh, your computer country. to the database. In you can just do that. Suppose if I have different different files, like database email IDs and name of total students in my college. And I can just import that into my database. Well. They will so be having their own and next uh, some languages and variables as that engine. So uh, like that only my people so understand. When it comes to engines, SQL. there are very uh, okay. so different kinds of uh, engines here. Know this that is SQL language. MISAM, so CSV, why that SQL is used? SAM in order to run the queries. In ODB, uh, using this ODB is uh, okay. used. This is about uh, will be using in ODB to store the images and all. And in my next session, I'll be uh, telling you like how to connect the database. You'll be having many storage in this. So based on database. your uh, type of sto guys, uh, storage, stay tuned. you'll bye bye. be using the storage engines. Okay. So why is uh, MRG MySAM is used to collection of identical MySAM tables? So if you have a CC CSV files imported to your uh, database, you'll be using the CSV storage engines. So black hole federated like this you'll be having any so this is about uh, PHP admin how with the look and feel of PHP admin by using this you'll be uh, you'll be using that uh, tables and all so that's it guys let's meet you in the next video stay tuned with explorer.com